Real Country, 1430 AM and 107.3 FM, WRDN. I'm Brian Winnikins. This is the WRDN Morning Farm Report. And joining us this morning, at Connie Seafelt. She is the 2023 recipient of the Richard E. Ling Award. And she uh, received that uh, during the National Dairy Board Honors uh, recently. We're going to talk with Connie a little bit about the farm and a little bit about that award as well. Thank you to our uh, newsmaker sponsors, including the Wisconsin Soybean Marketing Board, the Wisconsin Corn Growers Association, Wisconsin Farmers Union, Synergy Co-op, Osseo Plastics, Compere Financial, Animal Wellness Center of Buffalo Valley, and of Asilo and El Civia Co-op. And uh, Connie, thank you for joining us this morning. Congratulations on the award. Well, first, tell us a little bit about the farm. Well, thank you, Brian. I'm happy to be here. So my husband and I are the fourth generation, and we have our son, the fifth generation, and his sons, hopefully after him, that are on, on our dairy. Um, we farm about 500 acres, milk about 100 cows, all breeds. We have a mixed herd. Um, we raise heifers and um, our own livestock for future use. And uh, boy, you've been part of Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin and been a big advocate for dairy for many years, I understand. I have, and that's kind of ironic too, because when I was younger, um, the field man approached me and said, that district's gonna be open. Why don't you run for it? I'm like, run for it? Well, I did. I had opposition and I was just looking back through some of the papers that that I, I found that I'd kept. And it, it was it was quite an honor then. And the Richard E. Ling was a surprise. And that's also an honor. And I attribute that to the help from my family, the help from God and the help from all of the dairy farmers that I've gotten to network with through the years. And over the years, how much of a challenge has it been to advocate for dairy? Because boy, it seems like there's been a lot of different issues that seems to go against the dairy industry, but you know, like the milk labeling issue and all that, but how, how has that changed over the years? There were many different things. When I ran, RBST was a huge issue. Um, we had good advice from those that in promotion that helped us understand the issues, helped us understand how to deal with those issues on the home front. And my motto has always, always been, be honest. Be honest, be yourself. We raise and grow the best food in the world on our farms. We do that sustainably. Um, and we just need to get that word out there. And thanks to promotion, we're able to do that. We're talking with Connie Seafelt uh, this morning. Uh, she's a member of uh, Dairy Farmers of Wisconsin, the board of directors, and she's a recent winner of the Richard E. Ling Award. And uh, Connie is one of the big things in, in that advocacy over the years been to really try to reach out to that, I guess, soccer mom the, to, to continue to educate them on the benefits of dairy. We actually do that. We do it a number of ways on the national level. The National Dairy Council has worked with that. And at West, one time I was vice chair of the National Dairy Council and I actually got to go to the school food service um, seminar and got to actually talk to the, the head of the whole national food, food school service. And we also work with the athletic departments and we tell them that milk, chocolate milk is the best recovery drink available on the market. Um, and locally, we have introduced in Wisconsin the adopt a cow or adopt a calf, actually. And that is a very important and fun activity for both of those that are raising those calves and those that are sharing with the students and how that calf will grow throughout its lifetime. So that's exciting. And I would, I would have to think that that is pretty exciting. I know my daughter, she worked at a, a dairy farm when she had just graduated from high school and she was feeding the calves and, and all of that. She always called them her babies. And, um, but that has to be for the kids, the students, that has to be just as much fun for them as it is for the dairy farmer whose calf has been adopted. Absolutely. And, and we did, dairy tours on our farm of the students. And I always thought it was interesting watching not only the students interact, but more so the teachers and those that were helping with those students. They got as much joy out of it as the students and we as farmers do ourselves. 
We're talking with uh, Connie Seafelt uh, this morning. She is the uh, winner of the Richard E. Ling Award. She was recently awarded that with the National Dairy Board Honors. As, as we continue to move on to advocate for dairy, and there's been a lot of new value-added products, not only from the, the whey side of it, there's some new dairy products out there on, on recovery drinks. And there's even talk of uh, trying to get you know whole milk back into schools. What, Connie, do you think are some of the challenges that the industry will continue to have in advocating for dairy? Well, Brian, every challenge holds an opportunity. And I'm going to say that through the Center for Dairy Research and all the other research um, venues that we have in the United States that work with dairy, that is going to become I think less of a hurdle. It will be, people will realize how important dairy is. We right now have the, on the national level, have a collaboration with the Mayo Clinic and how they can encapsulate dairy and certain parts of dairy that are very good for us health-wise. And um, I, I, I am, throughout all of my years, which has been many, that is one of the most exciting things in my mind and I told them I would love to be um, a placebo and help with that research if it ever comes to that on the human level. Um, it will, I shouldn't say if, I should say when, because Mayo is really excited about that or they would not be in collaboration with the dairy industry. So I, I believe that moving forward and educating the consumers and educating parents and students, it, it all will help to grow our industry. And we have done that throughout promotion in different ways. And we have to then change with the times. When I first got on the board, we're doing things totally differently than we were then because we have to change with the times, stay vibrant. Um, exports, for example, we were shortly into experts at that time, 30 years ago, mostly to Mexico. And um, now we are into exports worldwide from Wisconsin and national level. Well, again, Connie, congratulations on the award and thanks for speaking with us today. You are so welcome, Brian, and keep drinking that milk and eating that cheese. That is uh, Connie Seafeld. She's the 2023 uh, winner of the Richard E. Ling Award from the National Dairy Board. This is the WRDN Morning Farm Report.